I want you guys by the end of this talk to be armed with the tools that you need to build a really strong personal brand that will hopefully attract acquisitions to you, but also enable you to build and sell far more profitable businesses. The reason why personal branding is so, so important is you guys as individuals get up to 561% more reach on your personal content than your company will get sharing exactly the same message. So if you're not building your personal brand, you're literally leaving money on the table. Hands up anyone who knows the difference between why this Evian costs 99p and this one costs 4.99, where you sell it. But the reason why it costs that much more money is not because of the location, it's because of its perceived value. I was at the airport this morning and I wanted to get a bottle of Evian. And the thing that I noticed was when I go to Tesco's on the weekend with my children to do my shopping, the same bottle of water that I bought today for 4 dollars cost 99p. And the only difference between the two things is its perceived value. When you're in an airport, there is very few places that you can buy a bottle of water and therefore it increases the price, right? The, you guys, by not being visible at the moment online, are worth 99p. Because you are exactly the same as everyone else in your space. There is nothing differentiating you from anyone. You're not perceiving yourself to have more value. People don't think you're more valuable because you look, act, behave exactly the same. I want you guys, by the end of this talk, to be 4.99 bottles of water. <laughs> Hopefully a little bit more expensive than that. And also be armed with the tools that you need to build a really strong personal brand that will hopefully attract acquisitions to you, but also enable you to build and sell far more profitable businesses than you would if you didn't. Personal branding is not a look at me exercise. It's a way for you to build your reputation at scale. It's a way for you to insert yourself within the communities that you're trying to influence and not talk at them. And that is the most powerful way to get people to buy from you. As uh, John very kindly said in the introduction to this talk, I went from zero to oversubscribed in my business in the height of the pandemic, by the way, and I charge a lot of money. <laughs> I charge a lot, a reassuringly large amount of money, as I've been told. And we went from zero to oversubscribed in four weeks because I'd built a community of people who trusted me who believed that I was the expert in my space and who thought that I'd be the person to do the thing that they needed doing. And that's not because I'm a personal branding expert. I didn't start out my career in personal branding. I started out my career in recruitment. And I want you to stop thinking about personal branding as this ego-driven activity and start thinking, thinking of it as this look what I can do for you activity. This is a strategic marketing imperative. And those of you that leave this session today and don't start building your personal brand are gonna be giving money to the people who are sat next to you who do. You're watching this video because you've got some level of interest in buying a business. That's great, let's get you started. I've got something brand new, it's free of charge. It's called the Business Buying Toolkit and there's a link to get it in the video description below. You guys probably all know who Elon Musk is. You all know who uh, Mark Zuckerberg is. You all know who Richard Branson is, Sarah Blakely, Stephen Bartlett. Every single one of these people have bigger followings than the companies that they own. And that is because people buy from people. As I said, your personal brand gets 561% more reach than your company brand. It's also the shop window that people are gonna come and look at before they want to shake your hand and do business with you. I can't tell you the number of times that I've been sat on the phone to a client and they've told me their name and I've quickly jumped on LinkedIn just to see if they're legitimate. I'm sure some of you have done that as well. Jonathan earlier was saying about, uh, you know, when someone goes onto your profile, what do they see? I can tell you right now, if I go onto someone's profile and I see they have zero activity, I perceive them to be lower value than someone who has activity. And that is because attention carries weight. The reason why TripAdvisor exists is because we trust other people more than we trust the hotel. We trust other people more than we trust the company brand, right? And that is so, so important for you to understand. You can't hide behind your business brand and expect people to trust it anymore. You can't hide behind a LinkedIn company page and expect people to go and follow it, to expect people to come to your website. Particularly on LinkedIn, LinkedIn ranks members' content above company updates and sponsored ads. So if you're not posting anything, and you don't have any activity on your LinkedIn page, not only do you be perceived as less valuable, you will be less valuable because you will not be pushing people through to your website and through to your 
direct messages or your email or however it is that you want to collect that data. And the final thing that I want to say is there is a huge void on LinkedIn. And I really say that with the, the most sincere amount of integrity. I do this for a living, right? I build people's personal brands on LinkedIn, on TikTok, on, and I'm talking thought leaders, by the way, not dancing teenagers, just to clarify in case anyone was wondering what I was saying TikTok. We do this for a living. And as I said, we charge a reassuringly large amount of money to do so. And the reason we're able to do that is because there is a huge void right now on social media, particularly on LinkedIn, of people who are afraid to say what they think, to give value, to add to the discussion. There is a reason why you will scroll through your LinkedIn posts and you will see posts from five days ago, seven weeks ago, three days ago. It's because there's not enough content in the feed. LinkedIn does not have enough content in the feed and yet the engagement on the LinkedIn feed has gone up 22% in the last 12 months alone. That means that everyone is watching. Nine billion eyeballs look at the LinkedIn feed every single week, yet only three million users are actually saying anything which means there is a massive opportunity, massive. And if you're not gonna take that, someone else next to you will. I'm interrupting this video to tell you about my most amazing lawyer. His name is John Andrews. You need an outstanding lawyer to get your deal done, so why don't you use mine? His details are on the screen. When he reached heads of terms, send him a message and he'll be able to help you get the deal done. So what is a personal brand and what makes up a strong one? I'm gonna deviate slightly away from LinkedIn because I want every single person in this room to recognize that your personal brand lives lives beyond just online, right? The way that you greeted the receptionist when you walked in and when you checked in this morning is your personal brand. Did you shake the person's hand when you walked in and they took you to your table this morning is your personal brand. Do you look homeless or do you look like you have your together? Sorry, Jonathan. Um, do you look like you have your stuff together? That is your personal brand. And when you look like you've got your shh together, people normally think you do, yeah? It's about how you communicate. It's about what you know. It's about how you act. Do you walk into a room with confidence? Are you scurrying in behind um, everyone else without because you don't want anyone to see who you are? Your personal brand is so much bigger than just posting content on LinkedIn. It's the way you show up to meetings. It's the way you present yourself. It's the way you communicate. I want every single person in here beyond the posting on LinkedIn to have a think about how you're showing up. How are you shaking someone's hand? How are you dressing? How do you greet people in the morning? When you see a barista who's giving you your coffee, do you ask them how their day was? Or do you just say thanks and keep it moving? Your goal with your personal brand should not be to have 19, 20, 30, 40, 150,000 followers. Your goal should be to be known as a trustworthy expert and for every single person who's ever had an experience with you to go, yeah, I worked with him or her and she was really cool. I met her once in a coffee shop and she was awesome. And that is what a personal brand is. It's what people are saying about you when you're not in the room.